Hi YouTube, welcome to my video and today I'm going to show you how to remove Infinity FX35 crumbshell position. So you're going to start by using a 10 millimeter to remove the cover. Uh, they, there are about five screws as you can see from here. And uh, once you remove those five bolts, just remove the cover and then we have got access to the engine and uh, where we can see the position of the crumbshaft. So there are four in total, uh, this side and the other side. The part number for this, as you can see, is 23731M. You can search that on eBay, it's available. And if you go to the other side of the car as well, on the passenger sides, uh, you will be able to see. So you just need to get uh, like a plier. So just to unclip this, uh, I've seen people like uh, removing a lot of things, but if you are able just to remove this hose, you'll be you'll have access. As I said, two in each side and total are four. And uh, part number is two three seven three one M. If you wanna change all of them, just follow the same process. So there's not enough room, but as I said, if you remove the hose, you'll be able to to have access for uh, uh, each side. All right, so uh, that is the crumb shaft position sensor there. And this diagram is available also on Google search. Right, we need to remove this bolt and uh, the other bolt here. And then if you get a longer uh, socket or extension, that will work better but also you need something like a magnet because when you remove the bolts easily they can fall i mean under the car so it's going to be difficult to get them but if you've got like a magnet it's going to be easier okay so this is how you remove it uh, i hope you can see a little bit clear as it, as you can see from here that the bolts almost disappeared but because i've got this long magnet i'm able to re uh, to, to get the bolt back so yeah as i said it's not that difficult it can save you a lot of money and uh it's just need to be patient a little bit patient this is the camshaft and now we're gonna change with the new one and then just run the test of the car so hope this video helped and if it helps please subscribe and uh, like the video